Shalom. First thing and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory and honor that's due to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Harakakodash. I give double honors unto the elderly apostles of Great Millstone, whom I learned truth. Peace and blessings and salutations unto the hopeful elect. Noise in this gospel, bro. Lifting up the standard of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. Um, this is a quick lesson through the spirit from Natural News. Um, it says Oakland police pursuing development of armed killer robots <clears throat> to enforce the law because you know Oakland, California, okay, which was um, kind of equivalent to the Bay Area at a point in time, it was pretty much a place of beauty and, and, and rest and, and, and just I won't say peace, but it was a place. It was you know, it was a place to kind of go, take your family, vacate. You know, nice you know lakes, beaches, whatever you want to call it. Now, when you look at the homeless population and the crime rate in Oakland, it's like that of a third world country. Because I believe early in this year, I believe that the city received like $4.7 million to clean up some of the homeless camps out there, okay, and to get these people kind of recirculating back in the life force. But nonetheless, the predominantly uh, uh, race of that's in Oakland are you Negroes, man, and Latinos, okay, because I did a uh, a search on Oakland, California's homelessness, and um, I found a couple of pictures here, and nothing really too deep. But it says Oakland saw a 24% surge in its homeless population despite efforts to clean it up. Okay, and I uh, did an image search, and then you came up with this. You know, homeless camps and homeless camps are all over the place, man. They're building up. Got some which is called Tent City or Skid Row. Mainly out there in LA, you go down on, on the sides of the highways and the ramps. I mean, you literally got stretch of homeless camps out there. People living right on the side of the E-way. You see what I'm saying? And back in the 90s, I mean, you had a homeless population, but back in the 90s, Oakland was somewhat vibrant, okay? But now when you look at it, it look like a third world country, okay? And due to this, crime is skyrocketing. And he, so Edom, he wants to bring in his technology to put you cheeks down because uh, let's do... Oakland, California, black population. Let's see what it says here. Okay, it says 95,874. Okay, 22.5%. It says the five largest ethnic groups in California are white, non Hispanic, 28.5, black, or African American, non Hispanic, 22.5, or 22.2, uh, 16% Asian, 15%. Uh, uh, Hispanic But you know You jakes If you add That 22 plus That 15% Right there There you have it 37% So You still the majority Okay So majority of the population Of Oakland Makes up of you Negro, Latino And Native American Man And this makes sense Because these are, Look These Terminators They're gonna be sent In the hood To kill you man Okay They're gonna be sent In the hood To, 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 to do away with you Okay, because we've been telling you people through, uh, what do they call it? Uh, what's the name of this damn? Boston Dynamics and various other corporations and countries that got these military contracts to build up this first class technology using billions of dollars in, in equipment to enforce this new world order, man. Because they're going to bring out all walks of life. Like they got a dog that's fitted with a sniper rifle with a fixed, with a fixed target on it, man. It's like a smart target. So when it locks on to you, is locked on to you so if you try to run a zigzag or you try to outstep it so to speak the shot is still going to be on position man unless you hide behind a wall but nonetheless man hey they got stuff like this and this is for you you negro latino native americans and mainly for the men of the lord because esau knows that the most high got something in the bag for him so esau he's gonna send his best send his best out there but it's all good we look forward to it man because i ain't gonna lie i wouldn't mind fucking one of these things up man and people were like, how the hell are you going to do anything like that, nigga? you just a man. But see, that's what you people don't understand. The Most High is going to endow his elect with spiritual power. And I got faith that the Lord will raise us up, man. And I pray that I'm part of that number. You see? But anyway, it says, during a recent Zoom meeting attended by government officials. Uh-oh. Which government goes into mind control. Gov means to control. Mint means mind. Okay? It says, the city of Oakland and California debated... Or not whether law enforcement officers should be allowed to kill people with shotgun armed robots. So you got to ask yourself this. Why are they even discussing something like this, man? 
Okay, this sounds like something like they declare war on the people. You jakes, man, they declare war on you. Because why would they be having talks like this if they haven't declared war on the people? This is not a normal thing, okay? Now, if anything, in Chicago, they having talks like that in Oakland. I'm pretty sure they having talks like this in Chicago as well. They're going to bring out the heavy artillery in Chicago because this is a bunch of wicked-ass jakes. And this is really the left-hand side of the most high. This is the Lord's judgment against you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans because, hey, you've sinned against the Heavenly Father and you have not hearkened into the voice of the prophets, man. All right, the scriptures say that, hey, the Most High have raised up prophets early, sending them, but you have not hearkened, okay? But it says you read that right, elected folks, and possibly even some un unelected folks up in Northern Cali want cops to be fur furnished with non-human killing machines at some point in the future. It says uh, it is actually the Oakland Police Department itself. And remember back in like after 9-11, man, they started to slowly but for surely militarize the police departments. So now you can have an average cop that's looking like a SWAT guard. You know, got rocket launchers, grenade launchers, man. They got the uh, shield and buckler. They got the bulletproof petty wagons. And the list goes on. You see, because hey, they've declared war on the citizens of the society, mainly you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It says the department said it will continue to pursue lethal options. Wow. Riddle writes about what was said in the last meeting. It says, when asked whether the Oakland Police Department will continue to advocate for language that will allow killer robots under certain emergency circumstances, Lo uh, Lieutenant Omar Daza uh, Kuranas, who represented the department in discussions over the authorized robot use policy, said, yes, we are looking into that and doing more research at this time. So, hey, they declare war on you, Nick Rose, man. And they're going to send these terminators right to your hood, and they're just going to blow you away, man. Because in the time when the RFID chip is implemented, man, this new uh, uh, plan D that they're going to come out with, whatever they're going to do, this new pestilence, they're going to have these things police in your streets, man. If you don't want to comply, then they're going to give you over to one of these particular elements. They're going to take you out. Okay, it's getting ready to be real bad out here. It's getting ready to be literally like Elysium. Brother saw that movie with Matt Damon. I recommend that you watch it, man. Okay, Elysium is a good movie. You see? But it says... It's all reported started back on September 21st when a meeting, it's locking my allergies, my nose itch, but September 21st when a meeting of an Oakland police commissioner subcommittee which deals with such matters discuss issues concerning modern day American policing. But in Oakland, which is riddled with crime, has been for decades, local police officers want to use military grade weapons against citizens, including flashbang grenades, tear gas, both of which have become the standard equipment here. But that's not enough, though. Oakland police really want those firearm-equipped robots, too, including a gun-shaped percussion, automatic non-electric disruptor, which is often used by bomb squads out in the battlefield. So, hey, man, they declare war on you, Jake's, man. All right, it's going to get real. But see, the men of the Lord, we're going to get spiritual power, man, because you can't beat nothing like that. That's impossible for a mere human being to go up against a, a killing machine that can't feel no pain that's programmed to do nothing but kill and also man these uh, uh uh these robots they have biased ethics too they're biased towards you jakes okay them dogs they're biased they program them to target negroes latinos and native americans and be more of a, a militant force upon you so let's see what the scriptures say this is second edges uh 16 and i'm gonna start at verses uh 50 no 68 it says for behold the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you and it should take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered into idols. Okay, the see hip the, 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 the jab, okay? Putting you in these different detention centers, man. Making you do things against your will, feeding you pork. All types of shit, man. And if you don't comply with it, then you already know what happens. They give you the gas chamber. You know, like my man Denzel said in tra training day. He said, you know what they get you for shooting a cop? He said, they give you the gas chamber. He said, you know what the gas chamber smell like? He said, pine oil. He said, that's right, boy. You going to pine oil heaven. All right, and a lot of you jakes, you're going to be just that, okay? You're going to be encased in your own mire because Esau is not going to play with you. You know why? Because this is the anger of the Heavenly Father that's kindled against you. So he's going to use these damn devils to come and police your neighborhoods in the most draconian type fashion, okay? Your little AK-47s, your little Uzis, your little SKs and Tech 9s, man. You know, your little 50 cows. They ain't going to be able to do nothing against this because most of you jakes, you can't shoot anyway. But it says here, and they that consent unto them should be had in derision and reproach and trodden on the foot. And how you going to be trodden on the foot in the hour of martial law? 
because look it says here uh the pan disruptor affixes to a robot and directs an explosive force typically a blank shotgun shell or pressurized water as suspected bombs while human operators remain at a safe distance but the biddle writes the picture of shotgun barrel secured to an 800 pound Roomba on tank treads shit they not playing with you man <laughs> but it says these armed robots are safe because human officers supposedly take special care to ensure that their weapons are loaded with blank rounds but yeah sure but when asked by Jennifer too a fellow which the American Friends Service Committee and members of the Oakland Police Commission subcommittee on militarizing police if the robots are capable of receiving real life rounds he was told by uh, uh, Daza Kuraz that they can absolutely you be getting a shotgun round and we know what that can do okay a shotgun round can split your melon you get shot in the face with a shotgun up close that's a closed casket man okay so this is gonna be pretty disturbing time we coming in uh, and uh, hey this is coming out for you now and it says here they should be like madmen sparing none but still spoiling and destroying those that feared the lord which is the israelites it says for they should waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses because they're going to go door to door they're going to confiscate your possessions all right they're going to throw you in different detention centers those of you that don't comply they're going to put you to death on the spot or they're going to beat the hell out of you and torture you man okay these are the times that we getting ready to come into jacob's trouble this is the showing you right here the purge movies they clearly depict Jacob's trouble, especially the last two that came out within the last few years. You know, uh, it says, "Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they should be tried as gold in the fire." But hear ye, O my beloved, says Yahweh, "Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same." So we gonna get delivered out of this hellhole because, hey, a lot of us we gonna be caught up in the midst of this. A lot of us we gonna see this chaos go down right in our own neighborhoods, right on the streets of America. Because we're going to be kind of navigating through and speculating on everything or spectating on what's happening. But overall, we're going to still get a first view of what the hell is happening out here. You see? Because, hey, the Lord said that the elect, the remnant of Jacob should be in the midst of many people. As a do, man, from above, roughly paraphrasing. So we're going to see pretty much how this is going to go down. But see, the Most High is going to have a certain spirit on us to navigate through all the hell. And those of us that do get confronted, we're going to have that power. And we're going to unleash holy hell on you people, man. That's why the scriptures say one of you should put a hundred to flight. You know? Uh, and it says here, And the God of them who keep the commandments and the precepts, says the Lord, Yahweh. So let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift themselves up. But it says, But woe be unto them that are bound with their sins, and covered with their iniquities, like the field is covered over with bushes, and in the path thereof covered with thorns that no man may travel through. It says it is left undressed and it is cast into the fire to be consumed therewith, okay? So you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, because of your sins, hey, that's going to be a lot of your fates, man, okay? Because matter of fact, let's get it here. I'm going to go back to Jeremiah 6. Let's get the book of Jeremiah, the 15th chapter, and I'm going to start at verses, uh, let's start at verses uh, 2. Matter of fact, let's start at verses 2. It says, and it shall come to pass that they say unto thee, whither should we go forth? Then shall thou tell them. Then said the Lord, such are for death to death, and such are for the sword to the sword, okay? And we know that Esau was blessed with the great sword, and this is part of the blessing. Right along with his deception, his lies, his witchcraft, this is his sword, okay? And this man is going to pull out every weapon he has because he knows that this is his last time in rulership, okay? But it says, such are for death to death, and such are for the sword to the sword, and such are for famine to the famine, and such are for the captivity to captivity. And I will pour a point over them four kinds, says Yahweh. The sword to slay, and the dogs to tear, and the fowls of heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour and to destroy, man, okay? So, hey, you Jakes out there, you think that this is a game? You looking at it, you not taking it serious? You got that? What well, I deal with that when it comes? No, man, you better get your ass in, in line right now. You better stop all the folly, all of the wickedness, and repent to the Most High, man, and get your mind right. Because it ain't going to be no, well, I deal with it as it comes. You're not going to deal with this, okay? This is not going to be a light thing, okay? Uh, gotta find that precept in Matthews when Yahweh Shah said he looked over the city and wept. Uh, what the is Matthews 19? Uh, maybe. Damn, 
I used to bring that scripture all the time, man. Uh, let me look it up real quick. One sec, city. Yep, Luke 19. Okay, I was in a different precept. Yep, so this is the book of Luke 19. And I'm going to start at verses... Uh, let's start at verses... Uh, 41, it says, And when he was come near to the city, when he was come near, he beheld the city and wept over it. He was talking about Jerusalem, Israelites, the, the people. It says, saying, If thou hast known, even thou, at least in this day, thy day, the things which belong to thy peace he says but now they are hid from thy eyes he said only if you knew what the hell was getting ready to happen to you but now you're so blinded you don't even pay you can't even see it you, you're turning a blind eye to it man it says for the day shall come upon thee that thy enemies shall cast a trench about thee and can pass thee around on every side and keep thee in on every side okay meaning they're going to circumvent your neighborhoods okay they're going to set up barricades blockades whatever you want to call it they're going to set up checkpoints you're gonna be able to go from one block to the next you in the inner cities you pretty much fuck man unless you got the lord because you ain't gonna be able to navigate in these cities and places that you do go you're gonna have other people that's pretty much barricading their own neighborhoods because you're gonna have certain militias out here that's gonna fight against these troops okay and you jakes man you just gonna get caught out there okay but it says uh and it shall lay thee even with the ground and thy children within thee and they should not leave in thee one stone upon another because thou knewest not the time of thy visitation. Why? Because it came upon you unawares. Okay? So, hey, the time is, is, is now. Okay? The time to get your, to, your mind right is now. Can't wait, man. You know? Uh, let's go back here to the book of uh, Jeremiah 6. And this is the case in point. And I ended after this, man. The point is being made, but this is getting ready to get real out here. All right. So this is the book of Jeremiah 6. And I'm going to start at verses 21. It says, Therefore, thus says the Lord, Behold, I will lay stumbling blocks before this people, and the fathers and the son together shall fall upon them, and the neighbor and his friend shall perish. And what's some of the stumbling blocks, man? These different philosophies, okay, coming under Esau, Edom, this Momo agenda, okay, taking a WAP, and mainly that MOTB. That's a stumbling block for a lot of you Negroes out there because, hey, you're going to comply. Like, what the hell do you have to lose here? You know, like, what is it the point of selling your soul here? Like, we don't have good stuff. We don't have the substance like Abraham and Lot. We don't have the substance of Jacob. We don't have the substance of, 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 of Solomon. So ask yourself, what are you really leaving behind? What it, it shouldn't be hard to walk away from this place. What you walking away from fucking debt, you know, uh, uh, agony, heartache. You know, bills on top of bills, on top of delinquency notices, a car that break down every other month. What the hell are you really losing? You know, but a lot of you going to take that MOTB because of the food supply. And it says, thus says the Lord, behold, a people coming from the north country and great nations should be raised from the sides of the earth. And they should lay hold on bow and spear in our crew and have no mercy. And what's the slogan of the new world order? No mercy. OK, it says their voice roared like the sea. And they ride upon horses, set in array as men for war against the old daughter of Zion, man. So war has been declared on our people. And this article proves that. The militarization of the police force. Okay? The, the draconian methods put on Jake when Biden was talking about the, the, the jab. Hey, he was targeting Israelite communities, man. He said that blacks are likely to die from that than whites. When we found out that was a damn lie. You know? But it says... We have heard the fame thereof, and our hands wax feeble, and anguish have taken a hold on us, and pain as a woman in travail. So go not forth into the field, nor walk in the way, for the sword of the enemy and fears on every side. Meaning they going back to Mark the Luke the 19th chapter. But it says, O daughter of my people, gird thee with sackcloth, and wallow thyself in ashes. Make thee mourning as for an only son, most bitter lamentation, for the spoiler should suddenly come upon us, man. And who is that Esau, man? And this all goes back into that curse Jeremiah put on you niggas because, hey, you was scoffing against the man of the Lord. You was scoffing against the Most High, ultimately. Okay? Jeremiah 18 and 22. And to read, matter of fact, 21, it says here, Therefore deliver up their children to the famine and pour out their blood by the force of the sword, man. This is a curse, man. Okay? And this was coming to your neighborhoods. So it says here, uh, The silence filled the room. For he, for a few moments before commissioner Jesse Hashay 
asked that the police department plan to actually use live rounds in the robot pan descriptor. And he said, no, but I mean, it is possible we have an active shooter in place we can't get to. And he's fortified inside of a house or we're trying to get to a person. Went on a ramble before trailing off the shift towards another matter. But the takeaway from what took place during that disturbing day is that the Oakland police force and presumably other police departments across the United States have similar plans in mind. Wants heavily armed robots to do his job with live rounds, which was supposedly only be deployed during emergencies, man. Okay, so that's the point, man. They're going to use these rounds on you, Jakes, man. And it's disturbing that they're talking about this. You need you need a robot to put down a flesh and blood, man. Shit. That's some heavy judgment. But hey, it's right here. Reading on. It says, by the force of the sword and let that wives be bereaved of their children and be widows and let their men be put to death. And let the young man be slain by the sword in battle because you're going to die in these wars, even the local wars here. But let a cry be heard from their houses when thou shalt suddenly bring a troop, when thou shalt bring a troop suddenly upon them. For they have digged a pit to take me and hid snares from my feet. So it says, yet, Lord, thou knowest all their counsel against me to slay me. So forgive not their iniquity, neither blot out their sin from thy sight, but let them be overthrown before thee. Deal thus with them in the time of thy anger. In the time of the anger, Lord, this anger is near, man. It's called the day of the Lord. And with that, all praises and glory and honor that is due to Yahweh by Hashim Yahweh Shai. And with that, Shalom and the Bible Ball.